Hi guys, um, we are gonna look at these bays called Nightmare and Nightmare. This one's counterfeit and this one's real. Yeah, so we wanted to do a video today about counterfeit versus real and how to tell the difference. Um, sometimes they can look so similar, but there are differences. And so when you get a bay that's counterfeit, it's just good to know. That doesn't mean you can't use it. That doesn't mean that it won't win. Um, different bays have different abilities and different counterfeit bays are better than some. But one of the ways that you can tell is for these nightmares, the actual top looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty similar, even in weight, it's pretty similar, but the biggest change, why don't you tell them about the biggest difference in these the two? The biggest difference is this one can move, and this one can't. Look, see? Yeah, the, the bottoms are pretty obvious, um, so you can tell that these bottoms are very different. This is the Takara Tommy Nightmare, and this is the counterfeit one, and then the biggest way that you can tell that we had no idea about this from before is the screws that they use both in Hasbro and Dakar Tommy. The screws that they use are a triangular screw um, or covered. They cover the screws up and so that's how Dakar Tommy and Hasbro use these type of screws. The counterfeits, at least all the counterfeits that we have purchased without realizing it, use a Phillips screw. So, um, and you, they're exposed screws too. So unless the counterfeit is just really hardcore, which we have not come across that yet, then you're going to be able to tell once you get your Beyblade, if it is real or not, um, by the screws. And as you can see, it's just a huge difference. A lot of times the tops may look similar, but the bottoms are not. So we'll show you a couple more. Do you, let's do, um, we'll do... Phoenix. Look, so we came across it like this Phoenix is amazing. Mm-hmm. We actually thought that when we first got this Phoenix right here, that it was real, Takara Tommy, because we did not have any other Takara Tommies at the time. This is our first one, and it has performed excellent. It's heavy. Um, it's really good, but what we noticed is on the Beyblade show, the bottom looked like this. So we were wondering, why did we get this bottom? So we ordered the Takara Tommy version and then realized we've had a fake Phoenix this entire time. So this is what the real Phoenix looks like. Again, you see those covered screws, the triangular it's, screws. And it's more dark around, it's more wider. Yeah, we'll show that in a second. These screws are exposed. This is actually a pretty good counterfeit. The counterfeit can actually beat the Takara Tommy sometimes. Um, and we bought that a long time ago and actually paid a lot of money for it. So they really got us. But as you can see, this is a lighter color, as he said, and this is darker. But they are very similar. And if you don't know the difference, you might not even realize it. That's a pretty good counterfeit for us. We bought this on eBay. And then we bought this one, I believe, on Bays and Bricks or something or Amazon. Um, usually with a website, they'll, they, when it is a real one, it's a car, Tommy or Hasbro, they will say that. Um, on Bays and Bricks, they say unbranded when it is a fake or counterfeit. Um, people still buy them because, you know, sometimes you just want one and maybe it's a good deal for you and it's not a big deal, but it's just important for you to know what you're getting. Another yes. one we've got were the Surprise and Requiem. Mm -hmm. What's the big difference with these two? The big difference is this one doesn't have rubber and this one does. So right there, there's rubber on the um, actual Beyblade. And this one is just a plastic. Um, and you can just feel it. And this one you can definitely feel. The Phoenixes you can't feel as much, but this one you can feel. And then the bottoms of these... Um, the bottoms of these uh, is the is the big difference too for the phoenixes. I mean for the sprisons. So this one you have the bottom where you can switch out to stamina or defense or um, attack. But then this one is just like that basic bottom, and you can even tell the metal is not as good. And then there's those screws. Okay, and then lastly. Um, with a Hasbro. We'll just show that because we showed you all Takara Tommies. Um, and the Hasbro Beyblades have the same screws and have the same covers. So we just felt like it was really important for, um, you know, us to kind of put this out there. We wished, um, maybe there's other 
videos out there about this, but we weren't aware of it at the time. And just to educate yourself on what type of Beyblades um, you are buying. Doesn't mean you can't buy counterfeit, like we said, and then it might be a good one for you. But if you are purchasing and spending your hard earned money, why not know what you are getting? This is another counterfeit that's probably one of our worst. Um, okay. It's so thin. But its best one is stamina and also. The bottom's pretty good. Excalius. I can do this. Yeah. Oh, it has some movable parts. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for watching our video. Yes. Bye. Join for next video.